So now that you've finished creating your model, it's time to look at the various options that are available for creating presentations of your model to show to your client. And one of the first things you could do is you could just bring your laptop to your client's house and show them right in Google SketchUp. Or you could create a number of scenes and export them as images, images basically from various angles. Um, the third option would be to create an animation, a video of uh, sort of a fly through from various angles of your model. And then the last one would be to create a photorealistic rendering using one of the many rendering tools. This is probably the best option to create the best presentation. All of these options require the setup of scenes, and scenes basically are basically creating fixed angles uh, on your model so that you can go back to them and uh, use them for animation and things like that. So the best place to start would be sort of pick a logical uh, first scene that you want to show from. Click View, Animation, Add Scene. You'll see a tab appear across the top for Scene 1. And you could move around your model to another location. Again, you're sort of following a, uh, a fixed path that you're going to create. Click View, Animation, Add Scene. It'll add another tab. That'll be Scene 2. And you can move in a little bit closer. Pick your angle. When you're happy with that angle, you go click View, Animation, Add Scene again. And then sort of move your way around your model, showing your, your design ideas uh, from whatever your angle you think is going to best represent your, your design. And you can create basically as many scenes as you think you need. It sort of depends on the size of the, of the model, the size of the project how many scenes you're going to need. Um, but the idea is to show it in a, in a logical fashion so that you'll see later on when we create the animation it'll, it'll go from one scene to the next. So you don't want to jump around, you want to go from side to side, you want to sort of go through in a, in a fairly smooth logical way. So we'll just create that with scene there and then create one more sort of going back to the almost the very beginning to end it off with a with a final scene. So there's the scenes. When you click on them, you'll see that it'll it'll basically fly to that scene, stop once once it gets there and you can you can walk through. If you're showing your clients, you could do it this way. You can just show them these various canned fixed angles that you created uh, when you set them up. So that's scenes. You can also go to animation and click play here where you can where it'll actually automatically fly through from scene to scene and stop for um, a second or two at each scene. This is exactly how it will work in the animation when you create our video. Uh, we can change those settings uh, as well, but this is, this will give you an idea of how well the animation will work and if we need to make any adjustments to our scenes at this point. So that's basically how you set up and create scenes. Before we go any further, now is a good time to adjust the transparency quality. And SketchUp has a default of faster. By setting it to medium, it's going to improve the look of a lot of the uh, Sketch 3D models that have transparencies. And a lot of the trees will have those transparencies. So the first option after creating the scenes would be to uh, basically pick a scene, an angle that you want to create an image for, go to Export, 2D Graphic, give it a name. This is our first scene, so we're going to call it Scene 1. And this is going to create a PNG file, an image file. Take a few seconds to create it. You can see how shadows add quite a bit of depth to the, to the model. Click on Scene 2. I'm going to turn shadows on again and go back to file, export 2D graphic, and call this one scene 2 and you can sort of go through each of your scenes or as you see fit and create these image files of each of those, those fixed angles. And when you go to look at them they're just PNG files you can open up and you can print these out or you can paste them to your your 2D design uh, to show what it will look like in 3D. 
So that's basically creating uh, exporting image files. The next option would be to create an animation. And to create an animation, go to export animation. And there's uh, an options panel here that where you can adjust the width and height of the video and some other quality settings. You basically click go and it will begin to create the animation. This will take a few minutes depending on how many scenes you have and the quality of the output that you set it to. I'm going to speed this up so it doesn't take too long but this could take a couple of minutes for a model of this size with this many scenes. So once it's done it will open up and there's the the video and it will basically fly through uh, the scenes that we created uh, st stopping for a few seconds at each at each scene and you can basically put this on a CD or um, show it to your client. So that's creating an animation. The next option uh, would be to use a rendering tool. I've got a free rendering tool called Kirkathea and there's many of them out there. I'm going to turn shadows on first to create the right angle of the sun. I don't want too much shadow on the front of my house so I'm going to adjust that to a different time of the year, different month and uh, possibly a different time of the day just to get the shadows to to look right, get the right angles, and get the, the sun where I want it to show. Once I've done that, when I export it to uh, the rendering tool, I'm going to go to Plugins, Kirkathea, Export, and there's a bunch of settings here. I'm just going to leave it to the defaults. And what it's going to do is going to collect all the information uh, from this design, from this scene. So I'm going to call it basically by the scene name, just like we did with the uh, images. And it's going to create uh, a rendered image uh, from this angle. So I'll click yes to open it. So this is going to open up the rendering tool. And there's basically a, a wire frame of that angle. I can change all kinds of different settings in the rendering tool. I just want to make sure that's got my sun set to the right angle and the sky. And now that I've set it up the way I want it to go, I click run. There's my settings. Click OK. And basically what it's going to do is going to gather all the information based on the the faces in the model, the angle of the sun, and it's going to begin to slowly generate it. And this could take a few minutes. Some rendering tools are faster than others, but you can sort of see it uh, building, getting uh, clearer and clearer, but you can already see that the quality of the output is that much better than what exporting to a, an image is from right from SketchUp. So now, now that it's done, I'll click Save. This is basically going to save it as an image file. I'll give it a name. And just like with the exported image files uh, right from SketchUp, I can use these on my design I can print them out and show my clients. It's basically up to me what I what I want to do with them. But you can see there by the quality that the image is that much better than just simply exporting them. The shadows are better, the lighting is better, and the textures are all enhanced. So that's rendering. One of your best options for uh, creating a presentation for your clients.